What's up everybody watching? We are back with one of these videos this evening and today we'll be doing a reaction to the new World of Warcraft, the War Within trailer from BlizzCon 2023. And it has been a while since we've done one of these reaction videos, just like it's been a while since Blizzard has had a BlizzCon in person. It has been four years since they've done an in-person BlizzCon. I don't know. I don't think it's been four years since I've done a reaction video, but it's been a while. So if you want to see more reaction videos, such as this one that you're about to watch on this channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and we will see what we could do about getting more of these out. I may do a couple more BlizzCon ones, but when a new World of Warcraft expansion comes out, you always got to take a look at the trailers because they are some of the best things, in my opinion, that the WoW team puts out as a whole. Trailers have always been something that has drawn me into Blizzard games since the very beginning, and it's kind of sad to say that we're sitting here as a player who played original WoW Vanilla. So we've been around for a little bit. We've seen a number of these. And let's see how this one compares to the magnitude of trailers that we've seen so far from Blizzard. Here we go, everyone. New reaction. World of Warcraft. War Within. Let's see what this is about. I don't know anything about this. I like to stay away from the spoils before the first trailer comes out, even though there's plenty of internet content creators that like to drop hints, even spoilers. But I always find it best to stay away, sit back and watch, and you can give your very own first impression to a new trailer without any noise in between. That's Anduin? You see over the years how the graphics have gotten more realistic in the trailers. It's crazy. You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. I always saw Anduin returning in some capacity. He's you like the just come here for me. Alliance's version of Thrall. It's the visions. You've seen them. I two of them in the trailer have lately something someone is calling out from the heart of the world like a voice from a dream <laughs> Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. I am not that person anymore! I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you.
they're getting worse. My first guess was the voice was Azeroth, but I could be very off on that one. That's first impression with very little going behind Look, it other than what I've seen in this trailer. Whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword was aimed at someone. Upon first impression of this trailer, the thing that absolutely stuck out to me the most was how improved the graphics look. I didn't even notice at first that I was looking at Andrew and Wynn with the haircut and how realistic the face looked. That's not something that I picked up in pretty much any other WoW cinematic, so I have to give a major props to the WoW development team for such realistic looking graphics. It's crazy how you watch them develop over the years. Now getting to the good stuff. The sword in the center of the earth, that's from Legion. That was Sargeras who drove that into the middle of the earth. And my guess just from watching this trailer is as he was going after Azeroth. I don't know what this expansion is going to entail. This is all straight guesses. But I'm guessing this is where we're going to find out the Titans are possibly evil something on the lines of that with sargeras being a previous titan there's been rumblings of the titans being evil and that might leave a lead us down this path in this expansion now who was the sword going after i think it was azeroth the center of i guess our world which would be azeroth trying to get stabbed with the sword to draw Azeroth's power. If you remember in the Legion expansion, I believe we were collecting Azerite at that point too. So it's just another direction that's pointing towards the voice being Azeroth. Otherwise, I don't know who it could possibly be, and that's a good one for the viewers. Leave your comments as to who you think the new voice is in the World of Warcraft, the War Within announced cinematic. I'm curious as to what everyone else says. They didn't really give us much to work with here. When it comes to picking up on plots and stories going forward outside of the little sword in the earth, which might lead to Sargeras, could lead to Illidan coming back. I just thought about that. If Sargeras somehow gets released, does that mean Illidan's coming as well? So maybe we will see Illidan coming back into the game since there seems to be a mix-up going on now at Blizzard and Chris Metzen is going to be working on these expansions. That I saw in some tweets from Taryn Gregory, so it should be pretty damn solid with that team working on it. I'm looking to see if this expansion will draw me back into World of Warcraft, because I kind of stopped playing it during Dragonflight. Dragonflight just didn't do it for me. There was a number of occasions when it almost pulled me back in, but taking a look at an announcement trailer... I'm going to watch this very closely to see if this is a game I want to jump back in and play. Dragonflight was the very first World of Warcraft I didn't play on launch date. And I think that had a lot to do with the ending of Shadowlands. Being a Sylvanas Windrunner fan, I wasn't too thrilled with the way that expansion ended. Loved the way Shadowlands started, but the way the story went towards the end, I'm sure I speak for a lot of people when I say that just wasn't it the way it went. You had so much potential going into Shadowlands, which I think left a lot of people sour going into dragon flight now we're looking to come back so hopefully with the new development team being there a brand new expansion coming out will finally draw players back into this game who decided to take a step back only time will tell you can let me also know in the comment section with the announcement of the new expansion slash expansions. I did see part of it, but I don't know all of it. There's a three-part thing going on. 
this is the first trailer I'm reacting to. But being that there's a three-part theme going on that I don't know fully what it's about yet. I'm not going to speak on it. But seeing this, is this the type of cinematic that is going to draw you back into World of Warcraft? I'll speak more on that as I see some of the other trailers for the World of Warcraft announcements at BlizzCon 2023. I would say so far, from my personal opinion, it's definitely something I'll end up giving a try Will I go as crazy as I usually do by the collector's edition and go the whole nine yards? I'm not sure on that one. This might be an expansion that I decide to jump in, give it a try, and if it sucks me back in, we'll go from there. You know what that's like playing World of Warcraft. So, everybody, if you like this quick little reaction video, you can let me know what your thoughts are on the new World of Warcraft The War Within. In the comment section, leave your thoughts on how you're enjoying BlizzCon, and also let me know if you want to see more of these reaction videos in the future. Until then, everyone enjoy the rest of BlizzCon 2023. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Later.